Hello again, my name's Kevin. You're watching Leathernet Prepper. What I'm going to show you today is how to strip down your slide on a SIG P320. This particular one is the X Carry, uh, the Spectre. And <clears throat> this one actually is one of the ones that when I do swap out my carry, I carry this one. So safety checked see how much of the punch was down in it basically all you do is excuse me move this over slide this out pay close attention when you're taking it apart get this out of the way pay close attention to your mainspring so it's oblong got a flat side here and a flat side here that's how it goes in. Don't do it like this because your weapon will not cycle properly and you'll have one very difficult time trying to get it apart, put it back together. Put your barrel out. This works very similar to a Glock. Where the Glock you have a inset insert here you push down. With this one you have that same type of thing right here. A little plunger. Push it down keeping your pressure on it and keep pressure over the tab. Once you've let the pressure off, keep pressure on this little tab here because it's still under spring pressure. Put your back plate off. Now pay close attention to how this thing went in with the Glock. You don't have to worry about orientation. This one, you see the little notch. So it needs to be facing towards the weapon the notch out. Pull your striker assembly out. It has the maritime cups. You see that? It has a little push pin, a little spring inside here. I'm not stripping this one completely apart because it's a bear to get back together. But it's actually you can do it but I'm not going to so all you would do is push this down put your maritime cups out slide your spring off and pull this little tab in here pull that little tab out get right here pull that down a little pin right there pops out so that's how that comes apart I'm just not going to strip this completely apart this is as far down as you would need to strip it for a yearly cleaning you would take and clean all down inside of here I would take, if it were me, and use some carb cleaner or brake parts cleaner or if you want to spend the extra money and get uh, gun parts cleaner, spray this down and lubricate any area where there's movement. You can see the lubrication right here, a little pin here. So but you don't want any oil striker itself. So I'm not going to Remove the sights, dovetail those out, and you dovetail out the front one as well. I'm just not going to do that. It's silly to do that for a yearly cleaning. So, putting it back together, pretty much the same way. And when I did the video on the Glock, I showed you how to completely disassemble that spring. Um, even a yearly cleaning, you would not need to disassemble that part. I just showed you. That's why I didn't do it on this one, because it's very similar. There's just no reason to do it. Oh, I forgot to show you the extractor coming out. Uh, let's grab your extractor, pay attention to it. Got a little hole here. This side right here faces down. This side here with the bigger indention uh, cut out. Faces up. Just slide this thing back in. What holds it in is this spring right here. Put your assembly in, put this in, remember keeping this out. You can tell because as soon as you twist it, it won't go out any further. Now remember all this is under spring tension. So what I do is I take and I get this ready.
Oops, excuse me. Push this down. Get this lined up. Helps if you do it right. Line it up. Push this down. See, I'm pushing down right here on this little spring. Push down. Slide this up. And that locks it in place. See how it's locked in place here. And that is your drop safety. Put your barrel in. Put your guide rod and mainspring back in. Remember it has two flat sides on your oval. Put that back in. Push it back together. Lock it back. Pop that in. Check for function. That's how you strip it apart. One thing I am going to say this was done with just a punch. So, this is the um, Polymer 80 lower. Um, I purchased this because I've had I purchased several SIG models. It does not come with this particular one, of course, because it's a P80. It actually comes with one that's very similar to Glock 19 size. Uh, actually, I think it's exactly the Glock 19 size, but it's just so small. Um, it doesn't fit my hand very well, and I didn't like it. So I went with a couple of different ones and ended up with the P80 because I really like the heavily aggressive texture of this. I mean, it is very aggressive. Um, have a good undercut, dual undercut actually. Not that I use it, but if you do, it also gives you four lugs any attachments you may have large trigger well for gloves and gives you a spot to rest your fingers so good beaver tail I really like the aggressiveness of it so the Spectre is Glock 19 sized but yeah I like this much better the P80 so anyhow if you guys got something out of it Share it, like it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or you can always email me at xcooperx at protonmail.com. Remember guys, a few problems in life cannot be solved. Bye Battleship Broadside. Have a good one.